very short video here. This is more uh, PSA, helpful hint, something like that, because I just spent $50 on an AE-1 program with a lens. Now the lens, of course, was not a kit lens. It was an off-brand 28 2.8. I have it right here. It's a breech mount. Ampro Kinon something or another. Looks relatively clean, decent lens. I like 28 millimeter, so this will be good. Maybe I'll throw it on this and do some videos with it. Who knows, we'll see. So anyway, got the camera though. And this one, this one's on me, okay? 100%, not even my fault, and it really genuinely does not matter. But I remember I bought this a little bit ago because I was gonna use the part to repair this bad boy that is way broken. So I bought it kind of as parts and it didn't really matter if it was an A1 or an A1 program, but I have noticed, and maybe this is just me and the circles I've been running in, but there is a indifference almost between the A1 and the A1 program. Like they're both just called AE1s, which is fine, kind of, but I do think, like I've said a few times now, I just put the A1 program video out and mentioned the differences there. I think I've also mentioned the differences before in A1 videos, but I do want to make a special note of it here because there's a huge difference. So the A1 program I got is right here. <laughs> I spent $50 on this A1 program. Now, you'll notice that it's not a program at all, quite honestly. There's no program right there. Yeah, I mean, like, it's just, it's an AE-1, which is, again, fine because I need the parts for it. Also, this camera probably works perfectly fine, but regardless, it does not matter. It's only 50 bucks, not a huge deal. This is an AE-1, though. I feel like we should talk about that. This is an AE-1 program. There are many differences between the AE-1 program and the AE-1. I just wanna put them side by side here so you can see that these are different cameras. I'd imagine probably what the seller did is he just went on eBay and typed in AE-1 camera or whatever and then the first like suggested posting that came up was for an AE-1 program. So he's like, that looks good. That's pretty much what this is, cool beans. And as I said, it's on me because there are pictures of it. So I pulled up my email just to check it. And it said, oh, your AE-1 program was delivered. And I was like, eh, I don't remember ordering that. So I clicked on it and it was this. And I was like, that's incorrect. And then I double checked the pictures and it, pictures were of an AE-1. It's like, oh, okay. So I just, I goofed up. So again, that's on me. Totally fine with that but I also just wanted to make this very short video to kind of talk about the differences between the two because these are, for all intents and purposes, very, very different. They do have a lot of the same or similar functionalities. They have a lot of the same operating systems, but in terms of appearance, they're similar, but there's like enough difference that you shouldn't really be getting them confused. So if the, you're ever in a situation where you're looking for parts or you're looking for a camera and you can't figure out which one is which or, or something like that, you can reference this video, you can reference the other two videos I've done walking through these cameras, which I will put there and in the description down below just to see, okay, this is the camera I wanna get, or this is the camera I wanna get, and then walk through why it might suit you better. And or if you're buying them, figure out what the limitations of either of these cameras are. Because there are a few limitations here, and there's also a few limitations here. So, that is all. Like I said, very short, short video. But yeah, I got an A1 for 50 bucks and a lens. Also, buy off brand lenses, like it does not matter. Uh, there's the kit lenses usually sell better if you are a seller of cameras. Like for me, it's like oh, I'd like to have the kit lens that way I can say Canon kit. Like, there's obviously there's some benefits to some glasses better than others. 
but I mean, it doesn't really matter past that. Like if you're really nitpicking it, maybe care, but honestly, I would say you're better off getting like a good lineup of cheaper off-brand lenses. So you can see like, yeah, I like this 28 focal length. I think that's great. Or maybe I want something a little tighter. Maybe I want like an 85, or maybe I want something even wider than a 28. Maybe I want a 17. 17, no matter how you slice, it's gonna be expensive, but something like a 28 2.8, great lens you can get one for relatively cheap it's a third party kind of lens and uh yeah i don't know i just i think that it's one of those things that you should maybe look into if you're curious if you want to like branch into different focal lengths before you fully commit pick something up off brand a little less expensive so that is it for today hope you learned something hope this helps in any way there's really no point in making this video. I just wanted to make sure that everybody got the message. These are different cameras. They look kind of similar, but they are quite different. So that is all. Don't get them mixed up. AE1, AE1 program. Learn it, live it, love it. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.